Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I'm gonna show you how to use Alfred to trigger hotkeys. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to use Alfred workflows and it's pretty easy to do. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, so here we are in Alfred. So let me explain to you, if you're an Alfred user or if you're thinking about using it, Alfred is an, um, it's an application that it does quite a few different things. Um, you know, it can do uh, web searches, it can open up applications, you can use it to open up files, designated files, and that kind of thing. It does quite a lot of different things. But one of the things, if you use the, um, the, the premium version or the pro version of Alfred, uh, what's called the Power Pack uh, version, if you, if you add that to it, basically what it enables you to do is create what's called workflows. And the uh, there's a lot of pre-existing workflows for Alpha that you can find out about. I think I did a video on that, and there's some other uh, YouTube videos that cover some of the workflows that exist for Alfred and you can do a search to find them as well. So, but you can do a lot of different uh, workflows for different things, you know, for like, you know, controlling um, iTunes or, you know, for triggering different applications and doing kind of Safari history searches and that kind of thing. So it's a lot of different ones. But one of the things that's really kind of easy to do, uh, kind of easy to create workflow is to trigger um, a hotkey. And so basically, why would I want to do that or why why do that? Well, for me, I can't remember hotkeys that well. I, I, it's just too many to remember and I don't want to feel like, I don't feel like taking my hands off the main keys in order to try to find the keys that I need in order to click it. It's, it's much easier for me to use a keyword uh, than it is for me to use a, a hotkey. I also do the same thing with keyboard maestro in that um, I use what's called string triggers and I've done a video on that as well. Uh, string triggers are easier to remember than using hotkeys as well. So basically in Alfred you can trigger um, hotkeys uh, using a keyword. So let me give you an example of that. Now I use an application called Screen uh, Float and Screen Float is a um, kind of a, a, a screen capture application. So you can, you know, capture shots and take screenshots and all that kind of thing. And I've done a video on that as well. So if, if part of Screen Float, you go up in the menu bar, you can open up what's called the Shop Browser right here. And, you know, it has a collection of all my uh, shots that I've taken or saved, right? So I can go up in the screen, I can go up in the menu bar and do that. Or I can use the... Um, the 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 hotkey that I've assigned to it, which is uh, Control Option J, right? So I can use that, but I'm not gonna. I'm usually not gonna remember that. So let me show you. If I use Alfred, and I just want to, it's already done here, but I can just do this and then click it there, and I open it up. So for me, I'm more than likely going to remember the keywords. Open B, which means for me in my mind, open browser, right? I'm going to much remember better than that, better than using the control option J. I'm just not going to remember that. So, um, and you can do this for, you know, any kind of, you know, application that you want to trigger. And the good thing about this is that you can trigger the app, some applications in the background as well. So you don't have to have the application necessarily open in order for it to, to, to trigger. So how do you how do you go about doing that now? So it's really and it's not it's not that difficult. So what you're going to do first off, uh, the uh, alpha workflows they give you a lot of workflows kind of to start out and to, you know to play around with um, to check out there. So you can use you know you're going to get these getting started uh, workflows to see how it kind of it works. But here we're going to start a blank workflow. I'm going to show you how I put this together. So we'll just say screen flow browser. Okay, and then basically right here, what you're going to do is you're going to drag um, uh, an icon of, of the application that you're that you're triggering here. So you can always go on the, you can take a screenshot of the icon or you can go on the internet and get the icon file and just drag it in there. All right. And so and then you can also put it in a category if you have categories. I, I can put it in tools, for example. All right, so you want to create that. And so if you have the icon there, it will show up like you see it in, in, on the rest of them. All right, so you, you get that part here. Then you're going to do is you're going to right click on um, the editor here, right? And you're going to, first off, you're going to do um, 
let's see, you're going to go, so you're going to start with um, triggers and see input. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, you're going to go to inputs. When the input is going to be your keyword, and you're going to put the keyword that you want to use. So say we just open B here. Hopefully that wouldn't be a problem. And um, I'm going to put no argument required, right? And then you're going to put uh, open, whoops. Okay, open uh, screen float. All right, or float. All right, open screen float there. And then you can save it here. You don't need to really put anything here, right? So right here, you already have uh, your key, your keyword that you're going to use when you do it. And then you're going to go to um, go to outputs. So in other words, what you know, what is that? What is that keyword going to? What is it going to trigger? What is it going to do? And you see it, some different options here. But the option we're going to use is dispatch key combo, right? Now. Let me show you what happens is, let me show you what happens when I try to put the, 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 um, the key, the hot key in there. So control option, I think caution J. Now you notice when I do control option J, it opens up the browser like it's supposed to. All right. So here's the problem with that. What that means is that you have to disable this control option J. You have to take it off then put it into here and then come back and put it put it back um, in the application there on the preferences right and so that's what you have to do there I don't know why the alpha preferences doesn't block you know while you're in the editor you it should be able to block any use of shortcuts um, outside the editor but it doesn't really do that so then you can just save it here right and so now you got your, your, here's your keyword and here's your combo. And then all you have to do is connect those two right there and then it will work. So that's how you put it together. And you can, you know, you can just string this across. Like, um, for example, I have another application called Amphetamine. And um, basically what it does is that this application will, when you, when you start it, it will keep your, um, it will keep your, your your computer from sleeping, right, for a designated amount of time. So I can I can put in the keyword start, and it will trigger this, um, you know, option control. I think uh, semicolon, right? And then the same thing when I when I type in end, which means you know in the um, the the automatic non sleep, right? Um, that will also trigger it again to end that session. So you can you can kind of build this up, you know, and, and based on what your particular needs. But um, it's really easy to do, and there are some other kinds of workflows. There are some workflows that are very complicated that require you to you know know how to use you know the um, the, the you know use coding and kind of things like that. But there are some real simple ones that you can use. And again, you want to play around. We can maybe go in here and look at some of the existing ones that they provide. And maybe I'll do some other videos to uh, other videos about this um, to show you some other possibilities. So I hope that you uh, found this uh, particular um, you know tutorial useful. And if you're new to uh, this to this channel, this is the first time you check me out, definitely subscribe. And if you um, have any questions or you like this particular tutorial, definitely click, click that, uh, that button below, click that like button below to let me know that you like uh, what I'm doing here. Really appreciate you watching. See you next time.